Okay, welcome to tutorial 12, uh, CNC routing, creating tool paths in vCarve and saving to USB for routing. So what we've got here is from the last video, we've got our uh, gear imported from our PDF. We joined some vectors so that this is continuous around the outside. The inner ones aren't, and that's fine for us. And now we are going to set up tool paths. So how do you do that? You head up into the right hand corner here and you'll see a little tab called tool paths. You're going to click on that or hover over it. And then the first thing you want to do is head up into the upper corner here and you'll see something that says auto hide and then a little thumbtack. That's what you want to press. And that'll stop your menu from disappearing back and forth on your screen. Super important. I don't know why that's not a default, but uh, there, that's what you have to do. So now we've got it fixed. We're going to choose one of our two tool path operations. So we have a whole bunch of different ways we could cut things out, like uh, that one's a pocketing path, this one's drilling, uh, quick engraving. We want this one, profile tool path. So we're going to pick that. And then we're going to start applying this tool path, the path that the tool we're going to use is going to follow, to let's do the outside first. Pick that. And when you turn it pink by picking on it, it will now apply all of these parameters to that outside cut. So we're going to head down. We're going to do our cut depth is a quarter inch. That'll go all the way through our material, my quarter inch material that I've got. Uh, the tool end mill. Make sure it's eighth inch. That's what we're going to use. And if it's not, you can go select and you can head in here and find the eighth inch end mill and pick it. Don't worry about all of this. Just push OK. And once you have the eighth inch end mill picked, uh, we could do the number of passes. Now it thinks it can get through this in uh, two passes, which it probably could, but let's edit these passes and let's go a little bit less. We'll go, we'll divide it into thirds by saying, go through this material in three passes. And then once you choose three, you have to push set passes. If you just push okay, it doesn't hold on to the three. So set passes, okay. So now you'll see your passes are three, so it's going to go around this three times to get all the way through it. And we're going to head down a little bit further. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add tabs. So click this box. Our length of our tabs is going to be eighth of an inch, and our thickness of the tab is going to be 80 thou, or 0 0.08 inches. And then we're going to click, eight. once those are entered, go edit tabs. I'll zoom this out so we can see what's about to happen. And we're going to choose four tabs and then push add tabs. And you'll see this is the location where the tabs or little pieces of wood are going to be left in place. So as we cut this out, it, it isn't free and moving and maybe run into our cutter. It's going to leave these little connection points. So we'll say close that. So our tabs are in place. Now notice I just did, oh, one more thing we have to check as I scroll back up. Uh, we want to be machine vectors outside and right. We don't want to be the inside of this line. We want to be on the outside of this line. So what reminded me about this is making sure that we're outside and right is down here at the bottom. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this outside. There we go. And then I'm going to hit calculate. And when I do that, it automatically pops me into this uh, three-dimensional view because we were in the 2D view before. And now we're in 3D. And if I want, I can, well, what I should do is preview my path. So preview selected tool path. So I'm going to hit play. And you can see it shows you how it's going to cut it out. I'll zoom in on that. And if you missed it, you could uh, reset the preview. And then you can slow it down. And then you could hit play again. And you can see how it's going to cut it out. That was even too fast. One more slow reset preview and hit play. There we are. So you can see how it's going to leave these little connection points in so the gear is not free to move. We'll cut those out after. All right. Well, that's great, except that's not the complete gear. So we're going to jump back into 2D view and we're going to go and select close this. And we're going to go make another tool path, a profile tool path. And this time we're going to go inside left. And we're going to apply this not to this, so unclick that one. Oh, hang on. There we go. I had to push escape to unclick it. But we want to apply it to this one, this one. Hold shift while you're picking to pick more than one. This and this. So it applies to all these. We're going to travel around the inside. So inside left. It should have hung on to your 8th inch end mill. Passes, I'm going to update that to 3. Set passes. 
Okay, and then we're going to head down. Now, from experience, we don't really need uh, tabs on this because they will just get sucked up by the dust collection, and that's fine. They're quite small, so they'll just disappear. Uh, and now we're going to head down to the bottom of this, and we're going to label this one or name this one inside. There we go. Calculate. Now, you can see there's inside, and I've got it checked. And if I hit preview, uh, preview visible toolpath, this one, it'll cut out the inside and show me what it's about to do. Put it on the screen like that. It looks pretty good. Now, we have to think about how we want to cut this out. I would like to cut the inside first while this gear is most stable and then cut the outside. So what I'm going to do is click on inside here and I'm going to drag it to the top. Oops. Try again. Inside, drag to the top. So inside will happen first, then outside. We're going to hit close. We're going to choose this thing here, which is, uh, oh, this one's, sorry, right there. Preview toolpaths. I didn't say that, did I? You want to choose this one. Save toolpaths. We already previewed it. So click save toolpaths. Make sure all toolpaths are picked. And because I don't need to run one and then the other, I can just one run a single, like the first one, and have it automatically go to the other one. I'm going to make sure that output all visible toolpaths to one file is selected. Then you hit save toolpath. And now it's time to run this out to the USB. Now, you would take the USB out of the machine. It's a plugged in the front of the machine. You'd plug it in. You'd find USB here. And there should be a folder. I just grabbed a random USB so I could make a new folder here. Here, I'll click into it. And I'll make a new folder. Oh, hang on. New folder. And we'll call it Engineering. And we'll put it in there with a name that makes sense. So it's uh, Tatri. So it's a very simple display at the CNC. So let's keep this name simple. But we have to know what it is. I'm going to say 32 tooth. Tatri 32T. There we go. Save. Now if I go to the US, or the machine with this USB, I can look for that file name and start machining. And that's it for now.